I'm Jamie Dorwood, a Disability Officer at Bradford City. Uh, we run a disability programme here. It's a volunteering and education programme and also football in the community. The project started really about four years ago um, and it's just gone from strength to strength. We have about 25 volunteers in total uh, helping out. Uh, within the club they'll come, they get involved in cleaning, helping out in the stands, uh, we really active on match days, so if there's anything ever on match days to be done, if it's bucket collecting, if it's flag waving at the side of the pitch, if it's working with the uh, junior bantams, it, anything and everything, it really is very much you know their match day to them, and they're here to help the club and support the club. The relationship with the club is fantastic. Uh, they're really welcoming and really open. <laughs> Ian Norman and I am a community manager here at Bath City Football Club. It's um, a fantastic relationship we have with all the, the volunteers. They're very, very helpful. Um, they help us all throughout our community work, um, with some going into schools to help us in the schools, help out with the penalty shootouts, help out with the everyday tasks around, around the community work. Um, and hopefully they, they have a, a great experience and they can um, hopefully it'll help them stand them in good stead for when they hopefully go on to, to, the, to the outside world and get a job. The club love the volunteers because they're, they're there to help and, um, and they do a fantastic job you know, around the ground. It's, uh, there's always somebody around if you need something. Uh, they're always very, very willing to help as, as, much, as, uh, as much as they can and uh, it's, a great, um, it's, it's a great use to the club to be able to have the volunteers there to help them in, in all sorts of different capacities. If you asked other clubs would they want volunteers like we've got here? The, well, I think every, everybody would say yes because it's a it's a win-win for everybody. It's it's a win for the um, the volunteers because they're gaining the, the, that experience. Uh, hopefully, to be able to go out into the workplace further on, uh, and the club are getting the help um, that, that they need. Um, so it's so it's win for everybody really. So a lot of the volunteers have come through the football, so they will come and join the football club, and they'll come and do their training two hours a week with Paul. Uh, they start to, they're either already existing Bradford City fans or they start to kind of fall in love with the club because they play for the club and they wear the badge. Hi, I'm uh, Paul Job, I'm the uh, head coach at Bradford City Disability Football Club. They were playing football for the disability football team, so then we decided that we're going to do some volunteering down at Bradford City to help clean the stands, all the rooms and things like that. So we asked some of the lads if they wanted to come and join, and we've got like 10, 15 of the lads are now that come regular, and ladies as well. So we uh, usually take a group of uh, players and supporters down to watch Bradford City. We go to all the away games that are local, really. Uh, we have social events like Christmas parties, we do uh, trips to Cadbury's World, Flamingo Land, all that kind of thing as well. well. I think the players will tell you themselves that it's probably uh, the only thing they've got really that they can look forward to. So not every Tuesday and Thursday they've got some football to play and every week they can go into the ground and help out with the volunteering. I think they just love it and everything they do. It's great to be part of a professional football club, you know, it just gives it that added, added extra really. Uh, the lads obviously are all fans and I like to come and watch the games, like to be involved with the club. And the club do support us, they let us play on the pitch at half time sometimes. Or we do the, the, the team photos sometimes on the pitch as well. So it's really good to be part of the uh, club really. When they are here and the difference it makes to them, makes them feel special, makes them feel valued. They have a real purpose. We have a number of participants who, in reality, the support that we offer is so specific. They couldn't get that support out working elsewhere. So they come here because this is a safe environment for them, an environment they feel really familiar with. They know everybody that's here. We've spent years getting into a situation where they, they feel safe, feel comfortable. They've got a, an assigned person that they can go to if they've got any problems or any issues. And you don't get that out in the workplace. Matty was one of the first volunteers at the club, came on a work experience and then um, just kind of got engaged with it, loved it and then started coming and helping out every day. He would just say, you know, I'm at home, I've got nothing to do, I'm in my bedroom, I'm stuck there. Um, all I've got is football, playing football, going to Bradford City, that, that's it, that's all he had. His dad had died. Um, 
and Paul had kind of taken it upon himself to start ferrying him to and from the football. And, and all he wanted to do every day was kind of go with Paul and maybe and help out at the club because he absolutely loves Bradford City. And he would nag and nag and nag and nag, when can I come and help out? And um, we got involved with the club, spoke to David Douse, it was at the time, and um, you know, asked him, could we, could we bring someone in to volunteer and help out, come one day a week uh, and just participate in a volunteering programme? And eventually I caved in and let us send Matty in one day a week and he worked with one member of staff. And then it, it just went from strength to strength. Uh, so four years later, uh, Matty's now here every single day. Uh, every day he can, I think he would sleep here if he could. Uh, gets involved, helping out. Uh, he's got his own little rotor. He's got other uh, volunteers now that help out and work with him. Uh, he's got friends. Uh, he's not stuck in his bedroom uh, at home, which is where he would be. And he comes and we created this kind of supporting environment for him to come. When I mean, he hasn't spoken to me in the five years I've known him, but I'm told that when he's here with some of his friends, he does speak. <laughs> but that's a big difference. I think if you were to ask any of the volunteers what it means to them, this is their absolute life. Uh, anyone really that's involved in uh, the disability programme, they, they absolutely love to be part of. Bradford City, to be part of the Bantam's family as the, as the phrase goes. Uh, it's everything to them. Uh, they love to come here every morning, every night. Uh, the club love having them here. Uh, it's not some token gesture and but it, it makes such a difference to their lives as individuals. It gives them a purpose, gives them opportunities that they wouldn't have. Some of them have moved on to jobs from being here volunteering. Just being able to be here and be a part of it, and it's, it's such a big difference for them.